Well, viewers, wherever you are, if you are just joining this live broadcast, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Shkon TV Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kone. I'm here this morning in the most talk about former rail-led market where the Moravia City Corporation is destroying or demolishing makeshift structure along the roads. So if you are just joining, this is the night look of the most talk about Raylet. If you've been to Raylet before, this is the night look of Raylet. As you can see, there was a robust cleaning up exercise carried on by the Moravia City Corporation. It was a joint effort, public work, ministry, the Labrador National Police and the Moravia City Corporation. You see how Ray Leg looking tonight. This is a night load of the most talk about Ray Leg. If you've been to Ray Leg before, as you can see, we are currently here in Ray Leg Market where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing some of those makeshift structures that have given ugly look to the Ray Leg Market. So, viewers, wherever you are, if you are just joining, we say welcome. This is Shkon TV Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kone. Please share this live video wherever you are. Please share this live video as we bring you all of the happiness. Jesuo Tubo Gase, please carry the camera near. Thank you very much. Please also share this live video. We are here this morning in Rayle, where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure. This is a nice look of Rayle, as you can see. This is a nice look of Rayle. Nasamari ability welcome watching. Please also share this live video. This is the night look of the most talk about commercial hub of Rail Leg. As you can see, the entire street is very, very clean. And all of those mailshaves that have been along the road currently will be described by the Public Web Ministry in collaboration with the Moravia City Corporation. So we are here this morning bringing you all of the live coverage. So please share, like, and follow Shkon TV Liberia for all of the trending national issues, be a political, social, economy. So we are bringing you the night view, the night look of the most talk about real life market. As you can see, the entire street is very, very clean, clear. So we are still here as the yellow mission continues to demolish some of those makeshift structure along the road. So please share this live video. We beg your indulgence, viewer, wherever you are. Please share this live video as we bring you all of the happiness here this morning. My name is Seku Aminata Kone. It is our responsibility to bring you all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, and economic. As you can see, this boot, this boot, this boot will be described. As you can see, this boot was just removed. Kalfala and Donso, even goose in those containers will be described as well. Thank you very much, Kalfala and Donso. Please also share this live video. This is a development, and we should appreciate the government for this development. You see how really is clean? You see how really is clean to now? So we all should be appreciative to this government as they continue to keep our country clean. Remember, Liberia will be celebrating Bacitania. February 14 will be the official kickoff of the Bacitania. They are diplomats, they are international guests who will be coming to Liberia to celebrate our country 200 years of existence. So we are still struggling when it comes to cleanliness of our own country. 200 years of existence as a nation, we are still struggling. So the development of our country requires the total involvement of every Liberian. So this morning in Rail Lab, all of those boots along the road, whether you have goose is or night, will be demolished by the Moravia City Corporation. That is clear. No argument about that. 
So please share this live video wherever you are, viewers. Please share this live video. This is Scott TV Liberia. This is Scott TV Liberia. My name is Seku. I'm in Atacone. I'm here this morning to bring you live coverage of all of the happenings. Just was say I have my shop near that road. I'm on my way to Red Line. Okay, you are on your way now, but I don't think they will be listening to anybody here. This is a clear mandate. They score all makeshift structure along the road. They score every boot that is along the road. So I don't think your person here will bring any changes. This is a mandate. They score every makeshift along the road. What a boot continue will be removed. That is the clear mandate. Abaku's color said great. Great job. Thank you very much. Abaku, please share this live video wherever you are viewing from. Please share this live video. We are currently in the commercial hub of Rail Lab Market where the Moravia City Corporation alongside with the Ministry of Public Wealth is carrying on a complete mandate to remove all of the mischief along the road, to remove all of the container. We are currently in rail life. This is the most talk about rail life market. The commercial hub of rail life market, we are bringing you the night view, the night look of rail life, uh, rail life market, and also where the MCC is demolishing mischief structure, small container that are along the road also. So if you have your container here, just know that it will be destroyed tonight by the Moravia City Corporation. This is a complete mandate from the executive. This is a complete mandate from the executive being implemented by the public work and the Moravia City Corporation. So viewers, welcome. Share this live video to bring you all of the happiness this morning. Mohamed El Kamara said thank you for bringing the live video to us. Thank you very much, Mohamed Kamara. It is our responsibility as a media practitioner to bring you all of the happening. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so viewers, the tonight is the day three, day three of the Moravia City Cooperation demolition of makeshift structure along the road. This is a complete mandate. As a matter of fact, 200 years of existence the Basel Tunnel celebration will be February 14. It will kick off at the executive, it will kick off at the Anthony Totmer Stadium outside the nation capital in Pinsville. The SKD, sorry, the Basel Tunnel celebration will kick off at the Samir Kaya Sport Complex. So Liberia is expected to receive international guests. So that is why the MCC and the public work is carrying on robust cleaning up SSR. A very robust cleaning up SSR. Amara FM Kamara said, I am still in the building. Thanks for the broadcast. Thank you very much, Amara FM Kamara. Please also share this live video. It is our responsibility to bring you all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, and economic. So we are here this morning playing our part as a Labyrinth journalist to inform the Labyrinth people on what is happening currently in Rela community. This is a complete mandate. Clear Rela community, every marketer should go to the Omega market. This is a complete mandate from the President of the Republic of Liberia, Josh Mane Weir. So, this is the near look of Rela. As you can see, Rela is very clear to now. Matthew Wicke said, Thank you very much, brother. I'm watching from So Clean Community Peace City. Thank you very much, Matthew. Please also share this live video to bring you all of the spaces visited this morning. We are here in Rayleigh. As you can see, the night look of Rayleigh looks very beautiful currently. As you can see, this is Rayleigh tonight. Thomas Drew gets a good job. Keep out a good way. Thank you very much. I say, hey, Thomas, a good job. Thank you very much. I say, welcome to this live broadcast. This is Shkon TV Liberia. My name is Seku. I'm in Atakone. I'm here this morning bringing you all of the necessary information that you need. Please also like, share, and follow our page. This is Shkon TV Liberia.
So this container will also be demolished. This is another container that will be demolished. Amos Kopulu, we are getting there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Amos. Please also share this live video. Please like, follow our page, Desishcon TV, Liberia, a subsidiary of Vision Communication Network Incorporated. Shkong FM 98.3 situated New Hope community opposite the Moravia Vocational Training Center. My name is Seku Aminata Kone. I'm here this morning bringing you live transmission of the demolition of makeshift structure along the road and continue by the Moravia City Corporation in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Work. This is a complete mandate from the President of the Republic of Liberia, Josh Mane. We are to clear really to ensure that all of the marketers are transferred to the Omega market. Senu Hakim Washington from Duporo, good job. Thank you very much. Please share this live video also. I'm a FM camera, it's a strong TV. Your name really represents you. You are very strong. Keep it up. Thank you very much for the commendation. Amara, please share this live video also. We are not sleeping. We will be on the street this morning to bring you all of the happiness. It is our responsibility. Like we said, like, share, and follow our page, Con TV Liberia, for all of the trendy national issues. Be a political, social, economic, we'll bring you all of the live information. So please like, share, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues. Shkong TV Liberia is a subsidiary of Shkong FM 98.3, a radio service of Vision Communication Network Incorporated. We are situated near Hope Community, opposite MVTC. Yima Samuel Sankara Johnson, Samuel Sankara Johnson, say we appreciate the comment on this one. Thank you very much, Samuel Sankara Johnson. Welcome to Scrum TV. Please also share this live video. Please share this live video. We are here this morning in the commercial hub of Rele, outside the nation capital, Morovia, bringing you live transmission of the Morovia City Corporation alongside with the Ministry of Public Work demolishing mayorship structure along the road. Ambassador Sui Z, the blogger, say, I am Sui, the blogger, watching from GSA Road. Keep all the good work. Thank you very much. Please also share, like, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues. Be a political, social, economic, entertainment. So we are here this morning, no sleeping. We are ensuring that you get all of the necessary information that has to do with the entire rail saga. Like we said, basically, this is a nine look. As you can see, rail or not, this is a nine look of the rail, the most talk about rail. You see, the street is very clean. As you can see, the street is very clean. You see, this is rail. Unbelievable. This is really unbelievable, really. Yaya VC is a great decision. Our people, what Yaya is saying, a great decision. Let me see. Yaya VC say, welcome. Thank you very much. Please also share this live video. The Senate camera say, I'm following carefully from Philadelphia, USA. May God bless Mama Labra. Thank you very much, Lucene Kamara. We beg your indulgence to also please share this live video so that those who are residing in Philadelphia can have access to what is happening currently in Liberia. Viewers, wherever you are, if you are just joining, we say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on your location. Welcome to Scone TV Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kone. I'm here this morning in the most talk about commercial hub of rail and market where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure along the road in preparation of the Basitania celebration. 
February 14 will be the official start of the Basitania Liberia 200 years of existence and we are expected to receive international guests. So it is prudent upon us as a country to keep our country clean, to keep our country clean and safe so that when international guests come into our country, we carry the good news out there. We cannot be celebrating 200 years as existing as a nation, then we are still struggling when it comes to cleanliness of our country. So it is necessary that every Liberian, regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of your tribal background, should buttress national government effort when it comes to the cleanliness of our city. So MCC is here this morning to ensure that all of those continue along the road, all of those spaceship structures are removed. It's a complete mandate. So virtually, virtually, we so hope the government can maintain. Yeah, virtually, we hope the government will put sustainable mechanism in place to avoid real occurrence. Because for for every time government carry on mending, for every time the MCC carry on cleaning up SSR, after two weeks, three weeks, we still see real occurrence. We still see people coming back to the street to sell. So we hope after the demolition of this makeshift structure. Government will put sustainable mechanism in place that will avoid citizens from erecting or constructing some of those makeshift structures along the road. So we hope sustainable mechanism will be put in place that nobody will be allowed to construct any makeshift structure along the road. If you want to put any building, it should be decent. No makeshift structure should be allowed. Rosalind Winnie good job government, thank you very much. Rosalind, please share this live video. This is Strong TV Liberia, bringing you live transmission at the rail market where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure along the road. Rosalind, welcome, please share. Vatuli said, this is beyond politics, development for us. Thank you. That is what we are saying. Liberian, it is only Liberian that can develop their own country, Liberia. Ghana will not develop this country. Nigeria will not develop this country. Sierra Leone will not develop this country. Foreigner will not develop this country. It is only Liberians that will develop this country. So the development of our country, Liberia, should be the total involvement of every Liberian citizen, regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of your religious affiliation, regardless of your background, your ethnicity background. We all must prioritize the development of our country, void of politics. So like we said, Nigeria will not develop our country, Ghana will not develop our country, it is we Liberian that will develop our own country. So if we depend on Nigerian, if we depend on foreigners to develop our country, trust me, our country will not be developed. Are you kidding me? 200 years of existence as a nation, we are still struggling when it comes to the cleanliness of our own city. So it requires the total involvement of every Liberian citizen, regardless of your background. Trust me, donors will bring all of the funding Donors will give all of the contribution to our country, but we, our citizens, must maintain and sustain those developments that will be carried on by donors' funding. Trust me, if we will not maintain and sustain those developments that will be carried on by donors, donors will only come and invest into your country, at the end of the day, they will be gone. But once you maintain those developments, it is you as a citizen that will benefit from those donor developments. So, the cleanliness of development of our country should involve every Liberian. Let us remove politics from this development that the government is carrying on currently. Before development comes into any country, a society must be victimized. Portion of the society must be victimized. So let's put this aside. People are suffering. People are doing this. Let's prioritize the development. The most talk about Somalia draft. The former Somalia job that is now called the Japanese Freeway. When the process of construction started, many people were victim mass. But today, we are benefiting from the road construction. So, before development comes, people, set of the society, have to be victim mass. Set of the society have to be victim mass. 
But at the end of the day, we will rejoice and we will celebrate and our country will be developed. So let's remove quality out of this. Let's appreciate the government for the development they are carrying on currently to ensure the rail let remain one of the best, one of the cleanest market in Moravia. So like we said, we are here. We are here bringing you live coverage. And this is a 14-day exercise by the Moravia City Power Operation. It's a 14-day exercise. Remove all marketers from rail layer, destroy all makeshift along the road so that rail layer, we can see the beautiful face look of rail layer. So viewers, if you are just joining, we say welcome. This is Shkong TV Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kona. I'm here this morning bringing you live coverage of all of the latest development in regards to the demolition of makeshift structure in rail layer by the Moravia City Corporation. So Mimi, Mimi Jagbadde said, who get to unseat this region? Mimi, thank you very much. Please share this live video. That is a question order we answer. Mark Jones is a good job person. I just so need just medication. Thank you very much, Mark Johnson. Please also share this live video. Party with us. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Chuck Brian say, talk about from your family. Sorry. I will read some of your comments and like we said, basically, we are here alongside with the mayor of the Moravia City government. So some of your suggestions, recommendations are needed so that the city government can take it into consideration to maintain or put a sustainable mechanism in place that will avoid reoccurring or short situation. So if you are wherever you are, your positive comment will take it into consideration and we will make those necessary recommendations to the city mayor of the Moravia City Corporation, Mayor Jefferson Tamakoji, he is here alongside with the team. So any suggestion or recommendation will be highly needed and we will recommend those suggestions, those concerns to him so that the city government can take it into consideration and act upon it so that our city can be clean, green, and safe for every Liberian. <laughs> So, Mark Jones is a good job. Thank you very much, Mark. Please share this live video, Mark. Augusti is saying, oh my God, development is not easy. Yeah, that is why we are saying development is not easy. Development will not come easy. This is another boat, as you can see, we are seeing Otago India. Otago Mission is also here. Otago Mission. So in this boot, we are seeing some ta tagwa machine here, alongside with some wire. So it's like this boot was a charging boot, and the owner left all of his charger is tagwa machine here. So the security going to report all of those items to the nearby police station. So those items will be reported to the nearby police station by security apparatus. Uh, Renegia is saying break it down here. Yeah, Renegia, they are breaking down all of those small, small containers along the road. All of those mayship will be broken down by the MCC this morning. But this boot seems to be a charging area. And I guess the owner left yellow machine, chargers, and other items. And it's going to be reported to the nearby police station. So please share this live video wherever you are. Uh, Rosalind saying, clean the market, uh, clean the makeshift. Thank you very much, Rosalind. Please share this live video. This is a complete mandate. No go zone. All of the makeshift structure will be demolished by the Moravia City Corporation. All of the small, small containers along the road in Rayleigh really will be demolished. This is a complete mandate. The president said, and I quote, that if the people will not vote for him based on development, they should not vote for him. But he will ensure, he will try his best that Liberia will be developed under his administration. So, if Sensei will not vote for him because he relocated the rail market to the Omega market, then you should not vote for him. But he will ensure the Imperator's development under his administration. So, let us remove politics from in development. 
This is one of the cause that our country have not been developed for 200 years. Everything politics. Politicians want to politicize every little situation. Every little development politician will look at the negatives out of it. We need to remove that negative perception about our own country. Let's talk about the positive ones. But politicians always prioritize the negative one more than the positive one. So we are here. We will ensure that you get all of the necessary information. Like I said, this is Shkong TV Liberia. Please share, like, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, or economic. Shkong TV Liberia is a subset of Shkong FM 98.3, the radio service of Vision Communication Network Incorporated. You see, all of those male shapes have been along the road, giving the road a, a ugly look. So, all of those male shapes will be destroyed. All of those male shapes in real life that have been given the market a complete ugly look will be destroyed. So, share this live video, follow us, we will bring you all of the trending national issues. Rene Jassy, long live King Josh Weir. President of the Republic of Liberia, for you, me, the best and only. Thank you very much. We were, we were, we were real coming as a camp. I share if I agree. Thank you very much, Rosalind. Thank you very much for sharing this live video. Rosalind, you have been one of our active followers since we started providing live coverage of the demolition SSI in Rila. Thank you very much for following Shkong TV Liberia. Always follow us for all of the trending national issues. We will bring you all of the necessary information. So thanks to all of our followers. Thank you very much. We love you. It is because of you we are here this morning to ensure that you are also informed Prince is saying, Labra, best president ever. Thank you, Prince. Please also share this live video. This is Shkong TV Liberia. We are here this morning in Rayleigh Market where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing major structures. Patrick Bodo Kennedy is a president. We are a complete blessing to Mama Liberia. Patrick, thank you for following Shkong TV Liberia. Please also share this live video, Patrick. We are here, as a matter of fact, this is the most talked about commercial hub of Rayleigh Market. The former president, Madam Ellen Johnson Sali, fell on the relocation of Rayleigh Market to Omega. Ellen did her best, but she failed to relocate Rayleigh Market to Omega Market. This president started it. People criticized him that the Omega market were not prepared to receive all of those who were selling real life market. This government also built additional four market to the Ellen Jersey selling on the Omega market plus the Omega market that the president constructed. Additional four market buildings were added to it. Why marketers have refused to go sell into those markets? And they choose to sell on the street. Why? Why Liberians are hard headed? Market were there for you to sell. They left those market and they started buying makeshift along the road on grounds that buyers will now go into the market to buy their goods. Are you kidding me? Our own country. When government is trying our best to develop the country, Liberians are undermining the effort of the government. Like we said, the development of our country should be the total involvement of every Liberian. But in this country, when ruling establishment is carrying on development, those who believe in the philosopher of the opposition were now form part of it. Some of them were even undermined that development. 
because they don't want any positive news to come from the angle of the government. So we need to put this political virtues, deep political solidarity and sa and prioritize our country. Patriotism. Let's be a patriotic citizen. As you can see, this player given a prior notice. God favor business center was given a prior notice to remove. As you can see, remove. Remove. This business center was given a prior notice to remove. But yet and stay and choose to remain here. As you can see, remove. Prince, please say nothing can stop President Wea. Thank you very much, Prince. So please also share this. Matra Razi, sorry, great job, brother. Keep it on. Thank you very much, Bila. Welcome. This is Shkon TV, Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kwan. I'm here this morning in the commercial hub of Grey Left Market, bringing you live transmission of the demolition of makeshift structure along the road. So, Bila, wherever you are, if you are just joining, welcome. Please also share this live video. Please like, follow Shkon TV Liberia for all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, economic. Shkon TV Liberia is a subsidiary of Shkon FM 98.3, the radio service of Vision Communication Network Incorporated. We are situated near Hope Community, opposite the Moravia Vocational Training Center. We are here this morning in Raylet bringing you live transmission of the demolition of makeshift structure by the Moravia City Corporation in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Work. This is a complete mandate from the president that MCC and Public Work is executing fully this morning. They score all makeshift structure along the road that have been given a clear face lift to Raylet. So as you can see, Raylet is very clear this morning. Raylet is clear and clean. So all of those makeshift, all of those small, small containers will be destroyed. Every street seller must go Omega. That is the mandate. Every street seller must go Omega. So this is a complete mandate that MCC is executing this morning here in Raleigh. So we are doing our best as a media practitioner to bring you all of the trending national issues currently this morning. Joseph Ujara, please do the job and stop the political chanting, UCDC TV. Why this machine can go and clean standard street garbage? Moiba Kolopoi. Thank you very much, Moiba. Please follow this live coverage. Please also share this live video as we bring you all of the happening this morning. Nathaniel Wilabo is following from the United Arab Emirates, Dubai. Thank you very much. Please also share this live video. Come on, for fun and friendly speaking. Our people are stubborn. The new Omega market is beautiful and they need to put. Yeah, you know, that is why sometimes people want to police out everything. They really constructed Omega market as a running water 
as an electricity, as a decent lottery. Why those marketers don't want to go legal? Why? Government spent a lot of resources to construct the new Omega market. Very decent market with electricity, running water, decent lottery. Why those marketers don't want to go into the Omega market? Why? That is the question. Why? And government spend a lot of resources. When we talk some of these things, people say we are not balanced. People say we, we are supportive of the regime. But this is the reality. Ambassador Bede say good job. Thank you very much, Ambassador Bede. Please also share this live with us to bring to you all of the happening here this morning in the commercial hub of Rila, where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing major structure. Nathaniel Dwight Wallace he is watching. Thank you very much. Rose is here. Don't stop talking. Rose, I will do my best and I will say what is the reality here. But of personal malice, but of prejudice against any individual, against any political party. I don't have any side. My side is the interest of the Labyrinth people. My responsibility as a professional colleague is to inform the Labyrinth people on what is happening. Peter Gakiri, I'm proud of my vote. Thank you very much, Peter. Please also share this live video. This is really, we are in really this morning where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure along the road. Really will be clear. That is the mandate. Clear really. All of the marketers selling on the street go Omega. Omega market were built for those street sellers. So now the government have completed additional four market bidding. All of the street seller selling in those small, small community along the road, please pack your thing, go Omega. All of those stores will remain there with a strong warning to those customers. When people come and buy their goods, do not allow them to sell in front of your store. If they buy their goods from you, let them go Omega Market. Buyers will come there. Buyers will come there. So that is it. All of those street sellers, all of those small, small community in Rayla, everything has been demolished. All of those small containers have been demolished. Business people who are selling on the street, please go Omega. There's additional four market building that the government constructed. Go Omega, go and sell. Leave the street. Rayla is too beautiful. But because of those street sellers, Rayla, it was looking like you don't want to be there. You see it? So let marketers go Omega. Melvin Tabo Washington from Washington State, United States Development Come with PIN. Like you said, Melvin, thank you. You see, development always come with PIN. Like I always emphasize on the former Somalia job. When that demolition of buildings started, during 2014, during the administration of Ellen Johnson Selly, there were many citizens who got veterans. People lost their horses. People got veterans in the process. But today, Liberians are enjoying the former Somalia draft that is now called the Jebeni Freeway. Liberians are enjoying. So you see, development comes with pain. Development comes with pain. But at the end of the day, everyone will readjust the development. So let us post this sympathy as well. Let the government carry on development. At the end of the day, we all will readjust. Okay. <laughs> So, Abdullah Washington, thank you very much, Abdullah. Rahim Chuku Kamar, I'm not a supporter of this government, but what the president is doing is in the interest of Labour. Yes, Rahim, like we said, let us put our political differences aside and prioritize development. But in this country, Liberia, when 
or United Partisan sees this government carry on development, they criticize it. When United Partisan carry on development, citizens see it, they criticize it. We need to put this behavior aside. Let us prioritize development. Whether it is the really establishment, whether it is the opposition, once the development will benefit Liberians, let us prioritize it. Once Liberia will benefit, let us prioritize it. We as a Liberian, let us also change our mindset. Trust me, if donors bring all of the donors funding, if this government carry on all of the development, if our mindset towards our own country don't change, trust me, DC Liberian will undermine the same development. So we need to change our mindset first. Changing mind, changing attitude. We need to change our mindset about our country. How do we think about our country? What need to be done? What development do we need to prioritize? Do we need to support the government as a private citizen? These are things that we need to do as a citizen. Let us put quality aside. Mohamed Kosha, Mohamed Kosha, Washington. USA, let the government do their work. Thank you very much, Mohamed Kosha. I hope this is my own big brother, Mohamed Kosha, that I knew from Stephen Tobo Estate, former principal of the Africa Islamic Center School. If it is my own big brother, Mohamed Kosha, I say, welcome, good morning, big brother. This is Shkan TV, Liberia. My name is Seku. I'm in the corner. I'm here this morning in the commercial hub of Rila, where the Moriva City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure along the road and all of those small small containers that were constructed or planted by those street sellers. Achi Murray Washington from New Jersey, USA. Achibi. Achibi, thank you very much from Washington from USA, New Jersey. Please also share this live video. We are here this morning in Rayleigh, really, where the Moriva City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure. Please like, follow Shkon TV Liberia for all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, and economy. We are a subsidiary of Shkon FM 98.3, the radio service of Vision Communication Network Incorporated, situated near Hope Community, opposite the Moravia Vocational Training Center, owned by Musa Abraham Solomon Sharif, a representative aspiring in electoral district number two, Monserrat County, Republic of Liberia. So Tom Kamara is saying, I hope the team will go to Central Moravia too. Those who selling in the street. Yeah, Tom Kamara, like I said, this is a 14 days mandate. But you know, Rayla have been one of the area that several government fail on. The former president, Ellen Johnson Sally, fail on the relocation of Rayla. So this government want to ensure right, right. that one of the achievements of the president is to relocate Rayla to Omega, where the government will be able to construct the road from Dupont Road up to Fender. As a matter of fact, currently there's a road construction going on, and the government wants to complete that road construction. So everyone needs to clear Rayla so that the government can have chance of constructing the road. And I guess nothing valuable is in here. Nothing valuable is in here. So, Billy Toba said, Bravo to the government of Labra. I'm watching from other town. So, thank you very much, Billy Toba. Please share this live video also. Like we said, we are here alongside with the mayor of the Moravia City government, Jefferson Tamakoji. So, all of your recommendations, suggestions will be taken into consideration and we will file it to the mayor of the Moravia City Corporation. So please share and like this TV page. We will file your suggestion, your recommendation to the city mayor of the Moravia City Corporation, Jefferson Tambakoji.
Angeline Lovely say, Oh my God, Angeline Lovely, we are here this morning in the Omega uh, in the real estate market where MCC, the Moravia City Corporation, is demolishing all of those small, small containers along the road. According to the government, Omega market were constructed for those street sellers. Let them remove from the street and go into the newly Omega market. There were additional four newly market constructed by this government with running water, with electricity, with decent latrine. Why those marketers don't want to go Omega? Why? Some of them choose of selling on the street. So there's a system needs to be put in place. Let the marketers leave the street. Let them go into the market. Government want to carry on development here in Rayleigh. Evelyn Dennis saying, wow, wow. That is it, Evelyn Dennis. Uh, if you have any of your relatives, this is a 14-day mandate. Rayleigh, all of the mayor chef in Rayleigh will be demolished. All of the small, small com uh, containers along the road will also be demolished. Next week, it is Central Moravia, Watosa, and Douala. As a matter of fact, February 14 will be the official start of the Basitania. Liberia, 200 years of existence as a nation. And we are expected to receive international guests. International guests will be coming to the country to celebrate Liberia, 200 years of existence. We are still struggling. A nation, 200 years, we are still struggling when it comes to the cleanliness of our city. Are you kidding me? It is so frustrating. And some of you also want to criticize this. 200 years. Our country is 200 years. We are still struggling when it comes to cleanliness of our own city. There's some of you want to criticize. You are 200 years. You gave birth to independent to other West African countries. We are the pioneer when it comes to independent in West Af in Africa. Liberia was the first country in Africa to have given our independent in the 80s. Most of those other African countries started gaining their independence from the 90s, 1950, 1960, and so on. Liberia got our independence 1847. Liberia was founded 1822. We are 200 years. We are still struggling on cleanliness of our small city. We are still struggling 200 years. And some of you want to criticize this. We need to be serious in Liberia. Let us prioritize development. This is our country. When development comes, it is we Liberian that will benefit. So this is this is the Federation of Road Transport Union of Liberia Interstate Parking Station. So they are removing all of those who are sleeping under here, and I guess they will be destroying this makeshift structure. Yeah, what do you have to say? Yeah, I would like for the police to make me laugh here because I work with the NSA. Uh -huh. And I told them that they didn't mark me here or that they want to put their things down. Okay. So that why they left me here. Okay. I'm proper people. Uh -huh. And I told them that I would be here for, for my assignment. Mm -hmm. So for me, I don't have no question, I don't have no answer. Yes, sir. Okay. You want to so what do you want for the guys to do now? Because they are about to demolish this mission structure. to keep But we are told that there were prior notice given to you to leave this vicinity. Yes. They told you to leave this place, right? Yeah. And why you refuse to leave the place? Because the base of Omega Okay. All right, we will speak to you. Like we said, we will speak to you. This is the Federation of Transport Union in Rayla. As you can see, MCC is demolishing. MCC is demolishing this center. Like we said, nothing will be nothing will be left untouched. Everything will be demolished here. Everything according to the plan. I will come to you. I will come to you. The people that came from the village during the war should return to the villages. Doris May 
saying that thank you very much, Doris. May please like, follow, and share this live video. This is Strong TV Liberia. Please like our page, please follow our page, please share our page for all of the trendy national issues in Liberia. Be a political, social, economic, we bring you all of the necessary information in our country. As a matter of fact, informing you as your run as a peaceful citizen, it is because of you we are here this morning bringing live coverage. It is because of you. Without you, we will not be here this morning bringing live coverage. So we want to appreciate all of our followers. We want to appreciate all of you who have been sharing this live video. We said thank you very much and we are doing your job. It is because of you we are here this morning. Without you, we will not be here to carry on this live coverage. So we want to say thank you for following. This is Scrum TV Liberia, a subset of Scrum FM 98.3. Situated New Hope Community Opposite MVTC. Thanks to all of you. Please share, like, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues in Liberia. Peter Cook saying, What is Peter Cook saying? Last and I said, I love that question, brother. I said, thank you very much. You know, we will, we will ask all of the necessary questions. These are people who always create a situation to send the bad image of the government. You were given prior notice to remove from here. Why you are still doing here? You were given prior notice. So why you are still here? Aaron J. Pago said, good job, brother. Thank you very much, Aaron J. Pago. Dore spent that very much. Thank you, Dore. Please share this live video. Thanks for updating us on the happening. Roland Coty. Thank you very much, Roland Coty. Please also share this live video. Like, follow our online TV for all of the trending national issues. Please like, share, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues in Liberia. Rachel Cassia said, good job. Thank you very much, Rachel Cassia. Max Series watching from a purple corner. Nick Cassia Delaware, thank you very much. Mark, thanks for following. Please also like, share, and follow our page. This is Scrum TV Liberia. We are here this morning in the commercial hub of Rayla, where the Moravia City Corporation is demolishing makeshift structure here in Rayla. This is a complete mandate from the President of the Republic of Liberia, President George Mane. We are to demolish every makeshift along the road in Rayleigh. Begging the indulgence of street seller marketers who are selling along the road to go Omega. So if you are a street seller, the newly Omega market, additional four markets were constructed by the government and the government is asking every street seller to go back to Omega. Regardless of where you are situated, customer will stay calm. Go Omega, go to the Nile Market constructor, and the Nile Market were constructed with latrine, running water, LEC. Why marketers don't want to go Omega? Why? Marian Fina, watching from New York. Great job. Thank you very much, Marian Fina. We are still here in Rayleigh ensuring that bringing you live coverage of the demolition of makeshift structure by the Moriva City Corporation, MCC. So as you can see, these are all died. Our country is about to celebrate 200 years of existence. You see the died in Rayleigh? Really? All of those died were created by street sellers. All of those that were created by marketers, they come, they sell, they create the diet, and they leave the diet, leaving that branding responsibility on the government. You see? These that were created by street sellers, marketers, they come, they create their diet, make their profit, and leave those that on the street, leaving the branding on national government. How do you expect national government to remove those that? You need to pay for it. You need to pay for your respective wa a waste. But marketers will come, street seller will come, they will sell their goods, and they will make their profit. They will leave the diet on the street and go home. And they expect the government to come and sweep the play for them. 
You see, our mentality, our mindset, our thinking. Mebra is at GSA, so Mebra is at GSA. This is John Collaboration, the Peace Vessel Cooperation, the Murray Vessel Cooperation, and the Public Work Ministry. So this is a joint effort. You see, all of these that were created by street sellers. Street sellers created all of these that, and they want national government to take the full responsibility of relocating those that. So dwell, dwell, see, MC should arrest people that will put that in the street. And I think that is one of the mechanisms that will be put in place. I think after this SSR, that is one of the mechanisms that will be put in place. Rose is a third damn my reporter of the year, Papa. Thank you, Papa Rose. Thank you. You see? For us, for us as a reporter, we don't have NSR. We don't have NSR. Independence is one of the principles of journalism. We are professional people. We are very independent. But we will speak truth to where truth belongs. We will speak truth to where truth belongs. And we will give our own opinion on critical national issues. And our opinion may not go your way, but we will give our opinion. If you want to accept it, accept it. If you want to reject our opinion, reject it. But we will speak truth to where truth belongs. So that is it. Most of you, because of political affiliation, you don't want to see development in your country. Most of you, most of you who are part of opposition, you don't want to see development in your country because you don't want to see any good news about this government so that your party can have the opportunity to win so that you can come and also loot. That is, there's no opposition in this country. Every politician in this country want the betterment for themselves. They will only support politicians because they feel that when that politician wins, they will have the opportunity to work and eat their own money. We will say it. No opposition in this country. All of them are only seeking their personal interest. Every opposition, every politician in this country only seeking their personal interest. Trust me. If you never party win tomorrow, ANC win tomorrow, all those who bear in the vanguard for ANC will be given the opportunity to work. And they too will also loot the same way this government is allegedly looting. That is the reality. We will say it. Politics have never carried this country anywhere. We are still struggling as a nation. 200 years. We are still struggling when it comes to cleaning our own city. 200 years. Corruption is at the increase. Development, we are bad work. Then if government try to carry on development, people want to criticize it only because the development is not in their interest. We expect us to remain new. Society depends on us for direction. That is our role. Society depends on us for direction. 
society depends on us for information. We have the opportunity to be with those politicians. We know them better than you because we sit with them. We go for conferences with them. We go for program with them. Don't see some of them arguing publicly. You feel that they are against each other. Do you know where those people can meet daily? Many people thought that some of the government officials during the administration of Ellen Justice Sally could not have the opportunity to work in this government. You are still seeing some of them working in this government. So you are not seeing, you are only seeing the surface, but you don't know all of those political chemistry that can play on the ground. But if government wants to carry on development because you feel that you are opposition and when government carry on development, it may likely affect the chances of your opposition winning election, then that is your business. We will say what is right. And this should be vote of politics. Development should be vote of politics. Development should be vote of politics. Yama P. F. Vesely, God bless you for saying that. Thank you very much, Yama. Please share this live video also. This is Shkong TV Liberia. My name is Seku. I'm in Atakon. I'm here this morning at the commercial hub of Real Ed Market, where the Moriva City Corporation, MCC, is demolishing makeshift structure along the road, asking all marketers to go back to the Omega Market. So we are here bringing you all of the happening. Like we said, this is real life. This is a more talk about real life. And he went and bought a water there you. to drink. So this is a 14-day work. So basically, on February 14, 2022, at the Samia Kayado Sport Complex, the government will officially start the Basitania celebration. That is the year of returning, the year making Liberia 200 years of existence as a nation. So we are expected to receive international guests. We are expected as a nation to receive international guests. We are being told that Nigerian star Peace Square will also be in the country to celebrate this event. It's a long week event. It's a long week event. And also, the Moravia Day is also pending. As a matter of fact, February is the anniversary month of the Moravia City Corporation. Every year, February 16, Moravia, the city of Moravia, celebrate their anniversary. And this year, February 14, also the Moravia City Corporation will be celebrating their 43 anniversary at the Moravia City Corporation. So, this entire month is a long week activity month, and we are told that there will be a series of activity going on, like the Basitania, the Moravia Day, and you name the rest. So, this is a 14-day exercise by the government. So, the government want to ensure that Rayleigh, marketers at Rayleigh are relocated. That is the threat of this government. The marketers from Rayleigh should be relocated so that the government can complete the road leading from Dupo Road to the fender. Currently, there's a two-lane construction of road from the Dupo Road to the Omega Market connecting the fender bell and going along the road there. So, government wants to remove all marketers, all street sellers, so that they can go back to the newly constructed Omega Market. One of the things that you need to know it is that the newly constructed Omega Market is a modern market with running water, with modern latrine, electricity. Four additional market buildings were constructed by this government. Have you asked yourself why those marketers are refusing to go and sell at the Omega Market? Why? Why are you refusing? Those market buildings were constructed because of you. Why are you refusing? Why are you refusing? Then some opposition want to jump. Oh, the country is high. People are reviewing or removing marketers. This and that. Everywhere is high. So if we must sympathy 
development will not go on. During the demolition of horses along the road, when the government were about to construct the former Somalia draft that is now called the Japanese freeway, some of us were victims, some of us, our homes were destroyed. But today, every Liberians are enjoying, are enjoying that role. Today, there is no traffic from Stephen Tower going straight into Banave that used to be jammed with traffic congestion. Now you can move freely. So before development comes, certain portion of the society needs to be vetted mass before development comes. So portion of the society victimization should not be the hindrance to development in our country. So let's put opposition banner aside. I will speak for local. Let's put opposition banner aside. Let's put really establishment banner aside. Let's look at our country. Liberia come first. Let's prioritize Liberia. If this government carry on development after this government tenure, those development will remain. The government will not say, oh, because we move for in power now, we will take our development back or we will destroy our development. No, those development will maintain. So this is it. If every government can fail to achieve, achieve certain things, then trust me, in the next 20 years, 30 years, our country will be developed. Let's take, for example, if the CDC government says that we want to fret to achieve road connectivity on our administration, all of the feeder roads, all of the community roads, CDC government fret and achieve that dream. The next government that is coming, road will not be your focus. Road will not be your thinking. You will think on another development. You will fight to make the electricity stable. You will fight on the education sectors. If you achieve that on your administration, next government will not think about road. Next government will not think about the education system. Next government will not think about electricity. Next government will think about infrastructure and other development. Just like that, in 30 years, 40 years, our country will be developed. Liberia is too small to be backward when it comes to development. And the natural resources we have in our countries, other countries in Africa who are developed today, don't have those natural resources. But why are we still being as a nation? It is because of corruption. It is because of our mentality. It is because of this honest leader. Why are we still being as a nation? The resources we have, there are many countries in Africa don't have those resources. And those countries are on a path of development. We are still under development. Why? It is because of our mentality about our own country, Liberia. You will not hear Liberia man saying any good thing about his country. Liberia man always want to send a negative thing about your country. In other countries, negative information don't go out to the public easily. But we Liberian found pleasures in sending negative information about our country. Oh, like we said, the mission don't stop, and I think this is a break, and we are waiting. Wesley, Wesley, the people are concerned why the mission stop working. Yeah, we have to wait. Most of the trucks are they go as far to went down to dispose the diet. Okay. So after some time, and um, the director in question will have to look for places that we have to go either for demolition or continue on with the waste. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, you know, uh, you can't have the machine on because, you know, it burns a lot. Mm -hmm. And so when you have all of the trucks returning, they are in place or in row, then we continue on from that, from that point. Okay. The trucks are going far off too. Thank you very much, uh, Legging Sir. We are waiting on the trucks. Those trucks have gone to to transfer those garbage that were collected from Raylet. And so you can keep the machine on while those trucks are still far away. So that is why the machine is off. So we are still here from here. We have another location. Perhaps we will be going to Omega. As a matter of fact, at the front view of the newly constructed Omega market, there are many major structures. If you go at the Omega market in a day hour, you will feel sorry for our country, Liberia. 
Those marketers left the market belly. All of them brought their massive structure along the road. Now, so much traffic congestion. Forget it or not, this road is leading to the State Road University, the Fender Campus. This road is also leading to six counties. The Omega Road leading to the Fender Campus, leading to Magibi County, Bon County, Nimba County, Lofa County, and even countries that are sharing border with Liberia, Africa, Guinea. But marketers found pleasures selling on the street rather than in the market. Then why did government waste resources on constructing those market? Why? Why? Africa Gaza said thanks very much. Thank you, Africa Gaza. This is Con TV Liberia. Please like, share, and follow our page for all of the trending national issues, be it political, social, economic. And Scrum TV is a subset of Scrum FM 98.3, branch 1, situated in New Hope. Our branch 2 is 95.9, situated Central Moravia, the nation capital. We are the FM service of Vision Communication Network Incorporated. We are situated in New Hope Junction, opposite the Moravia Vocational Training Center, Electoral District Number Two, Montserrat County, Republic of Liberia, and Strong FM and Strong TV is owned by Musa Abraham Solomon Sharif, a librarian, businessman, and entrepreneur. So, like we said, basically, we are still here this morning in real life, bringing you live transmission of the demolition of makeshift structure by the Moiva City Corporation and the Ministry of public way so thanks to all of you who've been following thanks to all of you for your comment like we said basically we will after this live broadcast we will follow all of your comment your suggestion your recommendation and the most important one we will recommend it to the mayor of the moravia city government so that is why we are here to ensure that you get all of the necessary information and we will also recommend all of your necessary all of your important comment to the city mayor of the Moriba City Corporation and he will take those comments into serious consideration. Adolfo Dixon is saying hope they sustain this effort and it should not be just a superficial. Yeah, thank you very much. Adolfo, we hope and we will recommend that to the city mayor. Basically, like I said, we will recommend all of your suggestions to the city mayor. Do I do I say city police are not working, brother? They should make those people you get that mess in from be arrested. Yeah, and pay 150. You see it? The city police needs to ensure that all of those and the problem most of those that that are on the street, there are people who use those disadvantaged youths. They use those disadvantaged youths collect their waste from their respective homes. Most of those waste you see on the street are created from homes. Those people create their waste from home and they don't want to pay for their waste. They give it to disadvantaged youths that we normally refer to as Zocos. Those youths will take the dead from any community and bring it on the street. That is what happening. Most of the diet, even in central Moravia, are created by business people, are created from private citizens who are residing in central Moravia. Some of them will take their private waste from their homes and bring it on the street, depending on the city corporation or national government to take full responsibility. Are you kidding me? That is what's happening. So basically, like we said, thank you very much for all of our followers. I want to say thank you for following Shkan TV Liberia. Rene I want to say thank you for your comment. Like we said, we will give all of the necessary suggestions and recommendations to the city mayor, Asi Square Jr. Thank you for following. Thanks to all of you. This is Shkan TV Liberia. Please like follow share our page for all of the trending national issues be a political social economy as a matter of fact we are proceeding to one of the most talk about election in our country history the 2020
2023 general and presidential election is one of the most critical election so shkon tv liberia we are everywhere we bring you live coverage of every activities what a wedding ceremony what a political program what a church program just contact us we will come there and provide you live coverage please also like follow and share our page for all of the trending national issue like we said this is a 14 days we are here this morning tomorrow morning we will also be here to ensure that you get all of the necessary information we will update you but trust me our information will be void of biases prejudice and personal malice against any individual against any political party against any religion so thanks very much ale mia thanks very much thanks to all of you for following Shkon tv liberia my name is seku aminata kone i've been your correspondent thank you very much we are taking a very short break when the trucks come back when we resume work we will keep you updated. Thanks for following. Please like, share, and follow our page. My name is Seku Aminata Kwane. Goodbye for now.